Panda! Over here! Panda! Huh? Could be selling sunshine. Looking so fine. Hey, Panda! Panda! Huh? I'm right here. Hey, where's your brother? They're sick! I vomit! Um, they're not feeling great. Are they okay? Should we go see them? No! 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 Contagious! Dump trucking everywhere! The walls, the carpet. Oh boy. Okay, let's eat. For you. Is everything all right? Are you sure you're not sick too? Nope, all good here. No vomit on me. Ha 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 Are you two ready to order? Uh, why don't you go first? Oh, sure. Uh, just give me a second. Um... You know, I've heard it's best to fully immerse yourself in your menu like this. You guys need a minute? Um, how long do we immerse ourselves? That little sneak. He's still playing the game. And he's got Lucy in on it. Ho, ho, ho. Game on. Oh no, this restaurant's too happening. We need another way in. About time. It's crazy in here. Phase one successful. Now all we need to do is get through this kitchen. Here we go. Follow my lead. Thank goodness you're here. Take this to table four, this to 17, two for 18, and water for 50 through 70, and come right back when you're through. We made it. Hey, you know what I really like? Moving tables into dark <gasps> corners. Panda, wait. Uh, so do you do this every time you eat out, or? <laughs> no, I saw around here somewhere. Waiter. Panda, is there a reason? Wow, look at that table over there. Uh, here. Ah! Look, mind if we squeeze in here? Oh, is this a birthday? Uh, wow, what's under here? Ooh. Panda? Oh, hey, Lucy, what's up? What's up? What, what do you mean? We're hiding under a table. What? No, we're not hiding. It's just atmospheric down here. Atmospheric? Panda, you've been dragging me around all evening. <sighs> I'm not really hungry anymore. Maybe we should just call it a night. No, 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 don't go. We're having a great time. Everything's going perfectly. It's only going to get oh, more fun. There you guys are. I have your... See? More fun! Oh, delicious. Panda, I think that was my order. Huh? It had peanuts in it. Morning, 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 morning. There he goes again. Knock it off already. Morning, stranger going through the Titan computer. Ah! Oh! Stranger going through the Titan computer. Security breach! Security breach! Slow your roll, fool! This isn't an unidentified female intruder. This is Tara! And you can identify her as my girlfriend. Girlfriend isn't the word I'd use. You prefer soulmate, huh? How did she get in without setting off the alarms? I gave her the tower security codes. Oh, trading security codes already. This sounds serious. Oh, please regale us with your tale of love at first visual contact. Okay, it's a pretty typical story, though. Boy meets girl. Girl asks if boy will get her access to the Titan's tower. Boy falls for girl. Girl insists on getting a schematic of the Titan's defense capabilities. <laughs> I told myself I wouldn't cry. So, what's an attractive, decent-smelling girl doing with Beast Boy? I guess I like how trusting he is. I mean, he's really, really trusting. You know she has superpowers, too. So if this works out, which it will, she'll make a great addition to the team. A new Titan. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> Rock manipulation, sweet. I like what I see. But if Tara wants to be a part of the team, she'll have to pass a series of carefully designed tests. Be prepared for anything! Uh -huh. 
on, sugar. I'll show you around the rest of the tower. No touching, remember? Played, Dara. But that's only the first test. There's something I don't like about her. I think I know what you don't like. That she's all up in your man's grill, and you're all, uh-uh, Boo Bear's mine. What? Hey, everybody. Finn and Jake are here. Who's ready to party? <laughs> <laughs> What's everyone laughing at? Stand back, everyone. This style of massage is called best friend massage. Oh, my gosh. Because it can only be done for friends. It is completely consensual. Oh, holy cow. Relax yourself now, lumpy space princess. Yeah! Uh, I feel so cracked. Who is that guy? Ha-ha! <laughs> Greetings, partygoers. Glad you could all make it. Princess Bubblegum! Princess, I just wanted to thank you for... Oh my gosh, Pibby, you gotta check out this super cute guy. You're gonna love him. Uh... This is... Oh, oh my gosh, I don't even know your name. Ricardio. Ricardio at your service. I've been waiting all evening to meet you, Princess. Mwah. I've heard you appreciate ancient technology. Have you ever used a belbaflonic laser to align the hibernautilus rift in the Bubatron plasmordial formation? Whoa, no, I haven't. You want to continue this conversation on the dance floor? It would be my pleasure, princess. Why didn't the princess invite me to dance? If you want to dance, just go dance. Uh. But now she's dancing with him. Uh, I feel weird. Uh, it sounds like you're dealing with some new emotions you don't understand. Like jealousy. Warg! Look, man, just go out there and get down! The plasmodial layer is completely independent of the Babylons, dip. Wow! That would mean that the Babylons would fluctuate with the Piranha Nanosphere. Correct. Uh, they're talking about science, man. I can't compete with that. Do the science dance. Remember it? It was sort of like this. You think that'll work? Yeah, probably. Do it, man. You're a pro. Science dance. Science dance. Proximity. Science dance. Hey, hey, princess. You want to spend some time with me? Excuse me, princess. You must excuse me. Oh, uh, all right. Then what the cabbage? I was learning about xanoids. Oh, I'm into xanoids. They're the best. Xanoids kill hundreds of thousands of plantoids a year. Oh no, not the plantoids! Plantoids produce melotoxin. Melotoxin kills xanoids. So are xanoids good things? You're totally jealous of Ricardio. No, I'm not. I just don't like the way he talks to you. It makes me feel weird. That's jealousy, hon. I'm not jealous. I'm weird. Woof, man. This is going bad. Hey, Finn, you got to come help me slay these peanut monsters at the bar. You can't wait. <laughs> Well, it's like this. See, um, I was thinking about your problem. It's totally bogus. That clinic is bad news. What you need is a real situation. No white lab coats, no tests, no experiments. So I was thinking, I was hoping you'd come with me to the annual New Year's Dance-a-thon. The last couple to remain dancing this year wins eight months' supply of Cheek So Soft toilet paper or 200 rolls, whichever comes first. And a $500 gift certificate to Happy Pappy's Totally Awesome Chicken and Seafood House in the Valley. What do you say? You did this, like, all for me? Like, I'd love to. Totally. <laughs> Welcome to the totally killer annual New Year's Dance-a-thon! Now I know you're all majorly excited to dance until the New Year! And don't forget, last couple standing wins the whole awesome shebang! Okay kids, get ready! Good luck! You too! Are you 
you having a tubular time? Oh, I think this is the most tubular time I've ever had. That's rad. Look, they're the last ones besides us. You might actually, like, win? Hey, dudes and dudettes, it's just a few minutes till midnight. So let's bring the music down just a bit. But don't stop dancing or you're totally bubbing! Oh no, we have to like, slow dance. Like, so? Uh, we have to like, touch. Hurry up couples, start dancing or you will be so disqualified. Oh no, what are we gonna do? We're gonna lose. Oh, what a total bummer, we won't win! <laughs> what are those? I thought these might come in handy. Like more ways than one. Two, one, happy yeah! Penny, I'm sorry. I thought this was a date. Why didn't you tell me it was a funeral? I did, in the corridor at school. Do you want to come to my house? It's Mr. Cuddle's funeral. I could use some support from a friend. Gumball, are you even listening? Uh, this Saturday, 4 p.m. It's it's a date. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I'm still here for you, Penny. Thanks, Gumball. Awesome! Day for remembering those who have left us. Shall we go? Gumball, perhaps you'd like to say a few words about Mr. Cuddles. Um, of, of course. Well, Mr. Cuddles was Penny's pet. Even though I never met him, Penny's pretty hot. So I'm sure he was pretty hot, too. Thank you, Gumball. That was really special. My picture! Huh? My sister made a photo tribute so we can all remember Mr. Cuddles. Aw, how thoughtful. Wanna see? Listen, son, I think it's best you leave. I'll, uh, let myself out. Play on, dear. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes. Uh, sorry, it's me again. Did I use your bathroom call? It's kind of it's a It's a second on the left upstairs. Thanks. From Glen to Glen. Have a nice funeral. Just get out of here. Oh man, what is wrong with me? She's never going to forgive me for that. I'll spend the rest of my life alone and never find happiness. Ah, spider! Knock his block off! No, wait. But come me back I when Mr. summer He's on the toilet! Is he trying to say He's something? He's on the toilet! Look! The toilet! Just ignore him! And why could snow? I guess I'll have to show them. Come here, little fella. Who's a good spider? Who's a lovely good spider? Oh, good boy, Mr. <laughs> get off, get off, get off, get off, get off! Get off. <laughs> Bertie, do you hear that strange blubbing sound? <laughs> what is it, Bert? I'm not sure, sire, but it seems harmless. <clears throat> strange creature, dry your tears. Allow me to present the valiant Prince Simon Go! Uh, 
Oh, what an insolent little fellow. It is I who should be crying. Have you seen yourself? I'm just so pleased to see you, my liege. For I was not always this misshapen little creature. I was once a big, beautiful bullfrog with the shapeliest legs in the whole of the kingdom. But I was bewitched by an evil sorceress and turned into this hideous beast. To break this spell, I need about one little kiss. Uh, perhaps you might consider... Ha-ha! <laughs> Fat chance! Uh, a kiss, eh? With the mouth? No, 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 that's not for us. And as a prince, I'm technically not allowed to kiss commoners anyway. <laughs> Germs. How about you? Just a quick peck on the cheek? Yes, that's a better idea. Go ahead, Bert. For the sake of the quest, then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! What was that? Oh, sorry, just a reflex. Come on, give me a kiss! Yes! Enough! We don't have time for this unheroic nonsense. Quest on! No! You're not going anywhere! I've waited 15 years for this, you fat goat! Give me this! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Wait! I have an idea! How about kissing yourself? Already tried that. I've kissed my hat, my foot, even my belly button. Nothing works. Yes, but did you ever kiss yourself on the lips? Hmm? He even wrote this stupid song about you. Oh, Sopna, oh, Sopna, love your Higgs boson chatter. Without you in my universe, things wouldn't matter. <laughs> uh, Come on, it's not that bad. Uh, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. The professor loves you. <laughs> What love is? Count me out. <laughs> You're going down, you eight-legged freak! Hey, that's Sapna. Liked her as a human. <laughs> Hate her as a spider. Oh, Sopna, you're the square root of two. Because I feel irrational when I'm around you. <laughs> Professor? <gasps> Is that Sopna? <laughs> hey, Sopna! We know you love the Professor, but... You can't go around terrorizing Townsville! We think you're actually... <laughs> Sopna, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, Sopna, why didn't you tell me you turn into a rampaging monster? I'm sorry, I wanted to. It's just, most guys freak out when you turn into a giant spider. It's kind of like when the little plastic thingy at the end of your shoelaces falls off and you can't get it back through the shoe hole, but then you try and use the tape to fix it, but then the... Shh, none of that matters now, Sopna. We can work all this out together. No, we can't. You don't understand. I was in a lab accident. And now, every time I feel love, I turn into a spider. I never wanted to put you in danger until I can find a way to cure it. I can't be with you. I'm sorry. Sapna, wait. <gasps> Professor! <laughs> Get a lab, you guys. No, I'm sorry. I have to go. Sopna. Let's see. I think it's on. There we go. Panda? Bonjour, Panda. So glad to finally see you. Um, hello. Oh. <gasps> no hellos. Hey. Uh, howdy. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. What's up? <laughs> oh, Panda, you are so funny. <sighs> it's way too close. Um, hi, I'm... 
I'm having a little trouble understanding you, Panda. This doesn't look good. Okay, time for plan B. It must be my computer. Maybe we could talk some other time. No, 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 no. I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm, uh... Everything. Fantastic, Celine. I am happy. Also, I love anime. Oh, yeah. I could see it in your art. I uh, tried to do art once, but no, no. <laughs> that was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you do? Yoga and karaoke. <laughs> That's awesome. So, how about we play a little game? I will say words and you will say the first thing that comes into your mind, okay? Favorite food. Pizza. Favorite book. The Wizard's Guide to Love. Favorite type of movie. Romantic comedy. Okay, final question. What do you see as your biggest weakness? What's going on? Oh, I am terribly sorry if I asked a personal question. That was a game to taught to me by American friends, but uh, we don't talk anymore. <laughs> uh, okay. That wasn't a joke, but... I uh, will be right back. This is not working, Grizz! Listen, this is all gonna be fine. Catch your breath, and then when you're ready, you just tag back in and take it home. Wait, what do you mean, tag back in? Ice Bear, ready to... <clears throat> Panda, ready to make good impression. Oh, you missed the spot. All right, break a leg. Oh, there you are, Panda. By the way, let me know if I say something that doesn't make sense. My English is not the best. Panda pense que votre anglais est très bien. <gasps> Oh, Panda! I did not know you knew how to speak French. Lui, c'est ce qui nous rend unique. Oh, Panda, vous êtes une boîte de mystère. You are so interesting, Panda. I've never met anyone like you. <sighs> what else can you tell me about yourself? Uh, Ice, ice Bear sleeps in fridge. What? Who is Ice Bear? Oh, no, he's blowing it. Grizz, where are you? Ahem. And I'll bleach myself again if I have to, because that is what brothers do. I spare Panda Bear. He will not leave you alone, will he? No, ever since Cyborg's computer matched us, he's convinced we're meant to be together. And you are not? Of course not. I want someone who thinks and acts like me. Hey, Raven. Hey, Starfire. Look, I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. Oh, come on! Just give me a chance, please. Pretty please with scary things on top. Look, I painted my fingernails black for you, Raven. No, let me make myself clear. I want nothing to do with you, ever. I want to make this thing work. You mean it? <laughs> Raven, <laughs> but will you marry me? This is beautiful. I guess Beast Boy and I were meant to be together. so happy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold the bacon! There was a tiny, teensy, teensy, weensy little glitch in my matchmaking program. You mean I might not be Beast Boy's ideal match? Only one way to find out. Looks like Beast Boy's ideal match is... The Scratching Post. A Scratching Post. Hey, computers never lie. How could I have been so blind? Ugh. Wait, this means Starfire's match isn't Aquaman. It might be me, after all. Starfire's match is... Also a scratching post. <laughs> Maybe that glitch wasn't so eensy weensy I don't think so. This feels real to me. The post for scratching is meant to be with me! It was mine. Ah! Ah! Why do I even try? 
me your musical. Can you do this? Try doing all that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah! My word, Eleanor, what is that alluring sound? I have no idea. Yes, yeah, Snorlock, show us that town. Jake, these chicks look pretty serious. Let's just let Snorlock do his thing. <laughs> Go to it, buddy! just ate could get a cramp. Oh, man. Panda, can you hold on for another half hour? No, I'm drowning now. He's as good as dead. Don't worry. Huh? I've got him. Time to kick my butt before they do. Ah, come on! Okay. Uh, your mom is so dense that when you said your laptop was buggy, she sprayed it with insecticide. <laughs> she is really bad with the computers. When I told her her mouse was broken, she took it to the vet. <laughs> <laughs> your sister. No, my sister. Your sister's so short, she has to roll up her diapers. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear something else funny? All that stuff I put you through today. Oh, it was because you only used one heart emoji instead of three. <laughs> Are you insane? Uh, are you 
still angry? <laughs> I'll take that as a maybe. Look, you need to take things a little easier, okay? By which I mean less terrifyingly intense. Gotcha. No more marriage proposals and stuff. And no big gestures. Of course. Of course. Abort! Abort! Uh, too late. What do you mean, too late? <laughs> Don't look behind you! I mean, let's focus on the future. There's no point in turning back. <gasps> to do with me. It must be a different, Penny. <laughs> must be a different, Gumball. <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> there is no escape for you now, Dexter. What's this? A laser saber? The force is strong in you, young Dexter. Bom, 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 bom. Dexter, it is I, Mandar. There is something you should know. Dexter, I am your neighbor. No, I do not believe you. It is too much for my puny intellect to process. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Ow, my arm. You hacked my arm clean off. Join me, Dexter. Join the Mandark side. Oh, no, I'm scared. Ah! Thank you for saving me from my stupid brother. Ah, Princess Dee Dee, you look radiant as usual. Hee <laughs> hee. And you are so big and strong, Mandark. I can resist your advances no longer. Susan, sweetie, will you get the door? Ah, Dee Dee, I dream of the day that we will finally be together. I dream of that moment where our souls merge in a single kiss, and I can show you how I truly feel about you. Yes, Dee Dee, if only you were here with me, right here, right now, I would show you how I really feel. <laughs> Hello, Dee Dee. Thank you so much for coming over to babysit Susan. Susan! <laughs> babysit? Now, Dee Dee, this is a list of everything you need to do for Susan this evening. Mandark. If you have any questions about Susan. Mandark. Or if Susan gives you any problems. Mandark. You can call us about Susan at the number written at the bottom that Susan also knows. You be good now, Susan. Mandark, Mandark, Mandark. So, Susan, Mommy first wants you to have something to eat. I hope Susie's hungry. <laughs> Susan? Ah, Princess Dee Dee, of course I am hungry. I am hungry for your kisses. Appease my ravenous appetite with your main course. Sweet lips a la Dee Dee. <laughs> Tofu. Of course. That's what your mom says that you like for dinner. <sighs> now don't get all pouty wouty. I know that you like your tofu wofu burgers cut into piecey weezies. There. Isn't that yummy? Chew it all up real good now, Susan. There you are. Back to Romeo and Juliet. Where do Romeo and Juliet first fall in la la in la? Fall in love, Miss Keen? Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Blossom. They first fall in love at the Capulet's house, right where they meet. Ooh! How romantic! Yeah. Love at first date. Date? Okay. I'm fine. It's just, uh, huh. I have a, a, uh... A robot brain? And it's short-circuiting? No, I'm not a robot, Buttercup. I, I, I'm just nervous because I have a first date tonight. See? His name is Todd. Ugh. I know. Isn't he amazing? But, Miss Keen, why would you be nervous about a first date? Yeah, you're perfect. You're smart and funny and pretty. If anything, your date is the one who should be nervous, not you. But I don't have the right dress or the right heels, and I have this huge pimple on my face. Ah, uh, what pimple? Miss Keen, we think you're perfect as is. But if a makeover would make you feel better, then you can count on this. It's okay, girls. I, I, I just needed to tell someone. I got this. Oh, okay. 
Hmm. Huh. Okay, Keen. You can do this. Mm. Uh, ow. Out of the way, rookie! Huh? A cursed city of Townsville waste management laws, making Mojo dispose of his defective radioactive goo in a specially designated facility. This is just one more reason for me to someday force Townsville to grovel at Mojo Jojo's Tojo's! <gasps> uh, don't worry, it's defective. What's defective? Oh, um, well, maybe my date won't notice. What the? What's happening? No, no, my, my, oh, oh, stop! Table for one, sir. Oh, no, no two. Uh, my, my date should be here any any minute. Hmm, I'm sure. Ah! A gigantic monster! With a gigantic thimble! No! I'm not a monster! Ah! Probs! Hey, what? Who's that? This is Brocco. Son of Logan, who was begat by Hobus. Okay, yeah. I want to take you on a date. Thank you, Brocco. That's very sweet, but no. Princess, this lab reeks like brown mist. It's unhealthy. You've got to get outside and do some research on boys. That is way out of line, Peps. And you guys are dogging up my research! Hello! Dog! Princess, I love you! I... I love you so much it hurts! The pain, it... Oh. Hmm. What you're feeling is called infatuation. The pain is a product of you overvaluing a projected imaginary relationship with me. No, Princess. What I feel is real. Meet me in the garden tonight and unlock the mystery of me! Brocco! Come to me tonight! Okay, Brocco. But just for research, all right? Yes, Princess. Good job, man. You take it from here. Yo, who's that with PV? That's that Brocco guy. Are they on a date? No, bra, the princess don't date. Oh, look, a miracle of nature like you. Now hand it to me. Hmm. Okay, I have what I need for now. Uh-huh. Ka-ka! <laughs> mm. Nope, no, no tears for Brocco. What did she say? I have what I need for now. So she will see me again. I shall not falter, Papa! Dear personal diary, in consequence of my latest romantic misfortune, I decided to consult the man who knew best about Her Majesty. Father's father. Amongst his most dearest possessions, he kept a book containing every secret of seduction through superficiality. The art of peacocking. Hi, Brocco. Nice hat. I know, right? <laughs> I am peacocking you to rally your attention. Mm-hmm. Um, so what's that on your head? My crown? Oh. Um. Ah. Hmm. Princess! Ah. Dear personal diary, I am in terrible pain. She is in her castle somewhere. A lonely heart. Do not fear, princess! I won't let you down. Hmm. Hello, cyborg. Are you following me? No, I'm tracking you. Also, I got you this. Blueberry pie. My favorite. I know. 
That's creepy. I know. <laughs> but in a romantic way. Does this mean we're... I'd like that. If any of the other Titans found out... If any of the Hive found out... Then we'll just have to... keep it secret. from stole it from a baby stole it from a baby you're not lying to me are you me lie Your evil glare, you're bad for me, girl. But I just don't care. But I just don't care. Jeans, jeans, jeans. Jeans. I thought you said you didn't love Jinx. I don't. You were just singing about how much you love Jinx. No, no, that's just a song, man. You are reading way too much into the lyrics. Uh huh. I am watching you, cyborg. I am watching. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> oh. <sighs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, is that my phone? <gasps> it's her. It's finally her. Oh, yes, it is yours. I, I found it at a boba shop. I've been trying to get it back to you. Really? Wow, I don't know what to say. I, I mean, thanks. Oh, sure. Twas nothing. I am being so cool right now. I hope it wasn't too much trouble finding me. Oh, uh, it was, it was no trouble at all. You know, I, I was in the area, m more or less. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm Panda. I'm Amanda. <laughs> oh, our names sound alike. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Panda, this is your chance. Uh, so, Amanda, um... Express train for the Bay Area Airport, leaving now. That's my train. I'm late for flight. I'm... I'm moving out of the Bay Area. But thank you so much again. Hey, Panda! If I ever lose my phone again, I hope you're the one that finds it. She had her own journey to take, and while our overlapping paths ended here, I was met with a bigger world, climbed and crossed continents, and fought foes in the name of love. In the end, these were all experiences which would ready me for the next time summer comes along. Well, until next summer. <laughs> Tree trunks! Huh? Tee Tee! Tree trunks! Oh my, look who's here! Yoo-hoo! Whoa! Oh, yeah! Howdy, Jay. Howdy, Finn. Hello. What are you doing here? I never really left. Mr. Pig's been so kind, helping me. <laughs> hmm. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Where's the apple pie tree trunks? Yeah, my stomach is jonesing for it bad. Oh, you all are so early that I haven't even started. Uh, uh, I, I love her so much. Whoa! You love her? What? No. You just said you love her. You're crazy. Dude, come on, we heard you. Uh, oh, I think I am in love with her, but I, I don't know how to go about it. Dude, you should just tell her how you feel. Phew. Well, what are you boys chatting about? Hmm? Uh-huh. Okay. 
Miss Tree Trunks, ma'am, today I wish to speak my feelings. Mr. Pig, what's going on? When I see you, my heart beats like a choo-choo train. When you stand near me, I get so nervous I cannot move. Oh. Mm, that's good. Shush. I feel the same. I have a feeling that this feeling is what others call love. What should we do then? We should hug. Tree chunks. You gonna bring some apple pie to Princess Bubblegum's thing? Uh, yeah, Jake, yeah. Well, okay. See you later, then. A part of him, a part of her, and one last ingredient. The tear of someone who loves him. <laughs> It's just what happens when you stir a love potion. <laughs> mm. It's fine. This is all for Darwin. Uh, wait, what are you doing? Well, I thought it would be more romantic than putting it in their drinks when they're not looking. Uh, mm. Thank you. <coughs> a little thank you for... <coughs> Dude, there's still way too much deodorant. <coughs> I think I'm owed a little thank you for fixing your love life. What are you talking about? Darwin, I saw it. Saw what? Your photo of Terry. Let's just say Carrie and I lent a helping hand. And let's just say that this helping hand involved the dark arts and a dangerous weapon. Because it did. Uh Oh, that's not a photo of Terry. It's of Carrie. But she doesn't show up on film. What? Yeah, she used to be the girl in my dreams. Anyway, gotta go. Don't want to be late for the date with the new love of my life. Carrie, Carrie, Carrie! What? Give me a gentle slap on the arm. What was that for? I have got it all mixed up. Darwin never loved Terry. He loved you. Oh, well, you slapped me already, so you've had your revenge! Duh. So what now? Instead of playing matchmaker, we're gonna have to play matchbreaker. Terry invited you to an event? Your wedding? Ah, attending. Ah. <laughs> ah, what have I done? A crime of passion? Huh. She's too good not to be shared. Mmm. <gasps> <gasps> Candlelight. Cloth napkins. Multiple forks. The setting is so romantic. Wouldn't you say, Star? Indeed. That is why we should sit at the table with Cyborg. Hey! Over here! I got a booth! Your makeup looks great today. Uh, thanks. You're a beautiful young lady. Wow, you um look nice. And I am enjoying the color of your yeah. clothes. Thank you. And your cloak matches your hair yeah. perfectly. I like you a lot. Why, thank you. Oh, so sorry. By the way, I ordered for the table. Ooh, I love calamari. 
I know what you're doing, and I love it. Oh, so good. Mr. Belvedere? Is that you? It is! You're eating the squid that raised me as a child! Before him, no one cared! How could you, Tara? I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. I bet he was a good man. He would have liked you, Tara. Would you look at the time? Thanks for dinner. Wow. Oh, they really love each other. Yeah. We're gonna have to work even harder to break them up. Oh, my. <laughs> I think I ordered too much spaghetti. I might need some help, Star. didn't like the song, you could have just said so. It wasn't... Unbelievable! 